battle rages, confusion everywhere. Sounds of the wounded and dying fill the air. But in the centre, a small band of beleaguered British redcoats stands firm. The distinctive rocky hill of Isandlawana, from which the battle takes its name, looms large in the background. A young lad, barely more than a boy, is held back by a wounded sergeant. The fighting continues furiously on all sides. Their heroic last stand. The Battle of Isan Luana on the 22nd of January 1879 has been a disaster for the British. Over 1,300 men lie dead on the scorched plains of South Africa. The small Zulu kingdom had humbled an empire. Mistakes by the British High Command have led to this pivotal moment, but here it's the ordinary rank and file who are left trying to hold the line. The artist, Charles Edward Fripp, arrived in the Kingdom of the Zulus two months after the events depicted in the painting. He would go on to witness their final defeat at Ulindi and the subsequent annexation of their lands. He knew of the Zulus' bravery, of their dress and weapons and their style of fighting. He portrays them as a formidable foe. The Zulus couldn't match the British in firepower. Instead, they relied on manoeuvrability, discipline, and expertise in hand-to-hand -hand combat. In the painting, we see one warrior trapping an enemy bayonet in his cowhide shield before attacking with a short spear. Others wield clubs and battle axes. These close combat skills alongside their numerical superiority and experienced commanders, explain the Zulu's remarkable triumph at Isandlwana. <laughs>